What's up everybody? It's me, Miss T. And thanks for checking out the SK TV. Tonight we're in for another finger looking treat. So without further ado, let's get into this menu. Okay, so we have a lot going on. <laughs> do we though? We do and we don't. We have some snow crabs, we have some oysters, and an egg. <laughs> Junior, get the lemon juice for me, the cocktail sauce, and the hot sauce. Dang, I forgot it. Alright. Where's that at? Cocktail sauce and lemon juice is in the refrigerator. Hot sauce, I think, is on the island. If not, it's in the seasoning cabinet. Okay, let's try it. This is so wildly disrespectful. Okay, I can't remember where I saw that, but it was hilarious. Okay, here we go. Got a little hole here. Got a boom. It is loud up there. Let's get into these little miniature moments to myself. Golly. We're going to make the best of it. Are we not? We are. Maybe it'll be like soothing white noise for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One of my kids, literally, that's what put us on the soothing white noise because. He would wake up sometimes in the middle of the night at like weird hours, but usually he would sleep. And so then at one point he started waking up like anytime he walked past the door. And so uh, I was asking around and my, <gasps> dang it, now I got a call. <clears throat> Try again. <laughs> Good night. Boy, that made mess. Okay. Let's just get to dip. Hey. Hey. Things are trying to leave. Mm. Oh, no. Look at all that. Mm. See, when it's explosive like that, you just got um. And dig it out. Mm -hmm. And feel your way around. That's all. <laughs> Just try to scooch everything to the tip of it that you did crackle, huh? Mm hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you. Turn out a nice little boat situation. Oh, it's going to match it. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. Don't forget about that, please. Okay. Oh. Mm. Let's go back. Go back. <laughs> so. What was I saying? Oh, the white noise. So I was like, what is happening? This baby is up like for two. If you hear it, if you go on the floor, that baby was up. So I heard about the white noise. Um at that point, I'm like, I will try whatever. I don't care what it is. <laughs> I need my baby to sleep past the walkthrough. Because literally, the room <laughs> was like right in the middle of the walkway. Not the best builder planning. Like, <laughs> hello, what do y'all think? <laughs> if this is the smaller room... It should be where they're silent. It should be where they can like move about the cabin. You know? Mm. Mm -mm. We lost a few people. Ah! Oh. It's hot at the bottom. I don't even care. <laughs> I could do not. I did not eat today. And I was like, you know what? We are about to go in. 
Lift them down. Okay. It's about to go down. It broke. I was too overzealous. <laughs> that worked out so well. I literally was like, oh my gosh, we can run in here. We can walk in here. <laughs> we can skip in here. <laughs> Let's get through the hallways. <laughs> I was so excited. I was like, why do I change my life? I told all my mom friends. <laughs> I was like, guys, guess what? You got to get yourself <laughs> some sort of white noise in your baby's room. And a lot of my friends were doing the pacifier thing, which no judgment here. Trust me. I was like, please take this. <laughs> it's raggedy, but it's going to be good. I uh, was literally like, please take this. And my baby just was not with it. Mm -mm. And then it's like, once the first one does that, and you know you can survive, you go, well, I'm not. I'm, I'm just not going to do that. Um, and I guess you just don't. But um, <laughs> because of that, none of them know pacifiers as like a okay thing to put in your mouth. So we're at this party and I kid you not, my daughter like slapped the pacifier out of another baby's mouth. Like, girl, you're not supposed to have that in your mouth. It was the most shocking and yet hilarious thing ever and the little girl had it like attached to her outfit so she immediately like looks at her weird but picks it up puts it right back in and she was like mm -mm. and she just did her thing like this because once she realized it was attached she was like oh no we can do this all day and i was like what are you doing and she said toy and I was like, oh my gosh, she thinks it's a toy. She said, I was, my, my daughter knows not to put toys in your mouth. So to her, it looked like a toy. She's like, y'all letting this baby put a toy in her mouth. Am I the only one watching her? Don't worry, I'll take care of it. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Nothing to see here. I will handle it. I was like, you were so not allowed to do that. No, she did it. She did not care. She was like, hello, adults. Why aren't any of you adulting? Hey, got a winner. Winner, winner. Crab dinner. So, mm. I was like, I'm so sorry, but she doesn't know anything about that. They're like, no, it's the cutest thing ever. I'm so glad you guys are cool about that. Um, she's just trying to protect your baby, I promise. She thinks it's a toy. So I'm trying to explain to her what she's looking at because she's looking at me like, I expect it better. <laughs> I'm like, why, why do I feel judged? I said, like, first of all, that baby is not ours. Okay, you can't just go around <laughs> telling other people, baby, what to do. You can't go around telling other people's baby what to do. Just like I can't go around telling other people what to do with their baby. Ma'am, we cannot. So anyway, after all of the commotion, Everybody had a good laugh. And my daughter just doesn't know. She doesn't know what that is. And I'm fine with it now. I'm really fine with it now. Because I'm like, now, like, we don't have to. We've never gone through a weaning or phase. Oh, my gosh. One of my friends is struggling. Shout out to you. Okay? Don't worry. We're going to get through this. Okay? 
I know it's tough. I mean, just from watching, not from experience, but from watching other people in it, ooh, it can get like, you know, kind of hairy because they do become like a little more dependent on it. Even the bottle. I was like, wait, what? Because one of my babies was not trying to give up that bottle. We go together, hello, like Martin Lawrence and Will Smith on Bad Boys, like Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan on Rush Hour. Like, what are you talking about? This is the sequel. So what? I'm older. And I was just like, um, okay, we'll revisit this. Like, because it was just so hard. I was like, this hasn't been this hard ever before. And now it feels like it's about to get wild in here. <laughs> it's. I'm feeling, I'm feeling some weird energy. My baby is not here for it. And it just got harder and harder to the point where it was just like, I just have to take it. You know, I just have to take it and, and take, you know, the tantrum that comes with it. You know what I mean? So. I know that way. And it's rough. So shout out to everybody trying to wean a baby off of something today. Hello? <laughs> May your process be swift and your baby get sleepy early tonight. Come on. <laughs> Here's the early bedtime. But um, there's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. Early bedtime is my thing. Because the thing is, if they go to bed earlier, I can go to bed earlier. I can get all of the things done that I need to get done earlier. <laughs> all the great everybody's asleep things I need to get done I can get done earlier but I can't do that while everybody's walking around mm -mm. I need my own space for that I need my own space for that so yes, get some get some white noise in your baby's room. Baby lighter. And I didn't use a machine. Mm -mm. I put it on the slow jams station. So nice I'll put it on the um classic classical station. Here's the thing though. Class, classical music can be tricky because sometimes they get turned up in class. <laughs> I'd be like, well, easy on the horn and the uh, <laughs> easy, easy on the instruments, those wind instruments and those drums over there, sir, ma'am, madam, and you. Y'all are doing too much. I love me a good knuckle. There is nothing like a good knuckle. Oh, y'all are going on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to still pull it out. Earlier when I pulled the legs off. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Let's sass up some oysters, shall we? This one's open. And if you're not familiar with how this works, please understand that if it doesn't open, it's not speaking to you right now, okay? So put it down and walk away. Okay, I don't have a shucker. Please do not try this at home. But I know how to just use the back of the knife. Okay, booyah! A lot of the meat stayed on this side. Not cool. This one is wide open. And for my homegirl, I'm gonna put it on the flat. Because you like six oysters, but only three open, five or six. Only three open and that's okay. Let nature have her way, okay? Mother nature, do what you do. That is a plus for me and for you. Trust and believe. Not opening means there's a reason. 
and I don't need to know why. That's not my business. I always keep a giant bottle of that. So we have our lemon juice. We also have some hot sauce. Ooh, I didn't you know, we like to spice it up. You know, that's how you gotta spice it. And then we have our cocktail sauce. And of course, put however much or however little you want. It's entirely up to you, Isha. It's all good. Here's to you. Mmm. Mmm. Next up. Mmm. -hmm. And one last one for the row. Mm -hmm. mm. We are done. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This was an amazing gathering of all awesomeness. I loved it. I hope you did too. But most importantly, I love the company. Thank you. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment beneath this video. I would love, love, love to hear from you. Hit the notification bell as well, wherever it may be, so you know the next time a new video uploads. And as always, in the meantime and between time, you take care of yourself. And I'll see you right back here at the Answer Key TV. Thanks for watching. Bye.